because you're already presupposing that there is a God. Religion is a man-made concept. So she goes on to say how religion is a man-made construct and that it, it, it attempted to answer questions that now they have answers in science and who knows what we'll have answers to in the next 10, 50, 1,000 years. She's willing to wait. So basically it's like the gap theory or the not gap theory, the, the, the God of the gaps where if there's a gap, they're willing to wait to see what science will come up with as opposed to believing what the Bible already says. Whatever is in the Bible, they'll discard and throw it away. But whatever science comes up with, no matter how nonsensical it is, they will accept and trust and have faith that eventually they'll get the correct answer. It's okay to make a mistake and they'll figure it out later. It, that is the mentality of these people. I mean, it's completely bonkers to me. The Bible already told you what has happened in prehistory? It's told you what happened in the beginning, how we came here, why we're here, what our purpose is, what will happen in the future. All of it's in the Bible, but they don't want to listen to it. Now, she says that, you know, science will explain it all eventually. Science will explain it all. The problem is they don't apply the same critique to science that they do to Christianity. There is no evidence of evolution. We have never uncovered a single fossil that shows transition. It's all drawings. It's all wishful thinking. It's molds. It's things that they made, but it's not coming from the fossil record. It's not true, right? And every fossil they've ever uncovered is a fully formed species. It's not transitionary, but they don't want to hear that. They don't, they don't want to hear that, but they don't want to believe the Bible. There is so much, there, there's so much to look at in nature you're looking at the same, let's say, mountain. I can see how this is created by God. They can see how this came out of nothing. It's just, it's, it's bewildering to me. They believe that a bang of nothing came everything else. It just, it's, it defies logic. And I can't understand how someone can say you're predisposed to believing that there's a God. That's why you believe. No. We believe that there's a God because God exists. He has given this supernatural book that a man could write, that he has protected over the thousands of years, that we can see God working in our lives today. God had done so many miracles, already proved himself back in the day. He's written it down in the book, so he doesn't have to keep doing it over and over. And now that Jesus has come, he said, the work is finished. It is finished. So all we need to do is to tap into the blessings of God and we can see God working in our lives Today, that's how we know there is a God, not because we're predisposed.